Hello Piper Middle School. Welcome to the first full week of school. We are so incredibly excited to welcome you all back into our building. We hope everyone had a fantastic summer break and we are ready to start learning. My name is Mrs. Bast and I am your assistant principal. Today I just want to go over a few basic priorities here at Piper Middle School. The first thing that I want to touch on is our Piper Middle School expectations. Here at Piper Middle School, we are heroes. We have respect, we exercise safety, we have responsibility, and we own our actions. Later in the week or early into next, some of our Piper cheerleaders are going to be talking to you about exactly what this means. You will see these signs posted in your classroom, you will see them in the hallway, and we are going to continue to learn what it means to be a Piper hero. The next thing that I want to talk to you about is just a few things that your teachers already reviewed during your crew that are located in the student handbook. Every student in this school can access the student handbook by going to their Canvas page for crew. This is where all of the rules and expectations of Piper Middle School are listed. The first thing that I want to touch on is our Piper mask mandate. Our school board voted to mandate masks in schools. This applies to everyone. We know that masks may not always be comfortable and they may be hard to keep on, but it is our responsibility as Piper Middle School students and staff to keep our mask on when we are in the building. This year we ask that you really do your best. We do have numerous students in the student body and some staff that may be immunocompromised. It is for the safety of all students that we absolutely have to follow the board policy. Thank you so much for making this a priority. The next thing that I want to highlight is our new Piper District dress code. Last year, the Piper School Board approved some changes to the dress code. Some of the things that are highlighted in the new district dress code include hats and hoodies. There are absolutely no hats allowed in school this year, and additionally, hoods are not allowed. We will be following the Piper School dress code. You are not allowed to have your hats on or your hoods up. If you do so, there are consequences that we will have to follow in accordance with the student discipline guide. Another item to touch on in the student dress code is midriff shirts. Girls, I know these are all the rage right now, but we absolutely have to keep our stomachs covered. Please do not come to school in shirts that show off your midriff. Save those for the weekends. Another item that I want to touch on is cell phones. All of your crew teachers should have reviewed the cell phone policy. Cell phones are not allowed in school. I understand this may be hard for some of you, but we need to follow the rules. If your teacher catches you with your cell phone during the school day, in accordance with our student handbook, it will be taken away and will be taken to the office. On the second offense, we will have to call your parents and they will have to come and get your cell phone. And on the third offense, you will have to spend a day in in-school suspension. This is absolutely not what we want to happen. We just want Piper students to be responsible and respectful and keep those cell phones put away. You guys are the best student body in the district and we know you can follow the rules. The next thing that I want to touch on is hall traffic. Many of you guys may have noticed that our halls are crowded. Our student body has over 650 kids, which is so incredibly exciting but it's your responsibility to keep moving. I know it's fun to stop in the halls and visit with your friends, but it's really important for the flow of traffic that you go from point A to point B as quickly as possible. This allows us to alleviate the congestion in the halls and ensures that all students are safe. Thank you for doing your part to ensure student safety at Piper Middle School. The very last thing I want to touch on today is dismissal. So you'll notice at the end of the days that either Mr. Mercer or myself get on the intercom and we say that at this time, bus riders are dismissed. When we dismiss the first dismissal for bus riders, it is absolutely important that only people riding the bus leave the classroom. If you are a car rider or a walker, you are not supposed to be leaving your classroom until we dismiss car riders and walkers. This helps us ensure safety helps us make sure that only the appropriate students are getting on the bus, and helps us supervise the hallways. You need to dismiss at the appropriate time. Now I just want to highlight some of the wonderful things that have been going on at Piper Middle School. We had a fantastic sneak-a-peek night, and we had a great 
day for new students and sixth graders last week. I want to give our very first swashbuckler shout out to every single cheerleader on our 7th and 8th grade cheerleading squad, as well as their coaches, Mrs. Williams Bay and Mrs. Cartwright. These ladies put in countless hours to make sure that you felt welcome and decorate the building, help lead tours, and spread the Piper cheer. Ladies, way to help us be positive Piper Pirates and start the year out great. We hope everyone has an absolutely fantastic first week of school. Remember the pirate way. Have respect, exercise safety, be responsible, and own your actions. Have a great week, pirates.